when two polynomial functions are expressed as a quotient, a new function will be formed, and that is called a rational function. For example, we have two polynomial functions, p and q. So, it can be defined as f of x is equal to p of x over q of x. So, dapat si p of x at si q of x ay parehas na polynomial functions. The domain of any rational function is a set of all the real numbers except the zero of the denominator. So, rational function siya. So, elementary, if we are uh, talking about rational, that is simply a fraction. So, sa fraction, alam naman natin lahat na kapag zero ang denominator, that is undefined. So, same with rational function. Uh, denominator should not be equal to 0. For example, uh, we have a rational function defined by g of x is equal to x plus 3 all over x square minus 1. So this is our given function and that is an example of rational function so bawal dyan na ang value ng x ay 1 or so x should not be equal to 1 or x should not be equal to negative 1 kasi pag sinubstitute natin itong 1 or negative 1 dito so magiging negative 1 square minus 1, so 1 minus 1, 0 ang kakalabasan ng denominator. Same with 1. So 1 square is 1 minus 1, 0. So sa fraction in elementary, bawal na 0 ang denominator. So that is our limit for rational functions. Dapat hindi mag 0 or hindi nyo i i-include yung value na magkokos ng uh, or mag -e equate sa denominator as 0. So next, uh, how, will we uh, how can we identify if the given function is a rational function or not? So let's have an example. Number 1, f of x is equal to 3 over x plus 2. So, example number 1, that is an example of rational function. Kasi, yung uh, value sa numerator, which is 3, is a polynomial function. Sa denominator, x plus 2 is also a polynomial function. And then, they are expressed as a quotient. So, sabihin, they are rational functions. Single function lang pala. Second example, f of x is equal to x minus 2 all over x plus 2 plus 2x over x minus 2. So, in that example, that is still an example of rational func func function function so they are two terms but it can be expressed as one term so we can combine uh, the first term and the second term if we perform the operation which is addition so kung i-compute natin yan ang kakalabasan ay x square minus 4 
Ang denominator, a 3x square plus 4 ang numerator. So, single term na lang siya, but uh, they represent a function. So, mamaya after nito, or the next video, so, doon tayo magpe-perform ng uh, rational equations. So, para malaman natin if the given function is a rational function or not. Third example, f of x is equal to square root of 3x. So, that is not function. Bakit? Una, hindi naman siya uh, na-express as a quotient of two polynomial functions. Kasi ang expression na yan, so that is a radical expression, and the only form na pwede nating magawa sa kanya aside from radical form is the exponential form which is quantity 3x raised to 1 half. And remember sa polynomial expression, bawal ang exponent na fraction. Dapat integer ang exponent ng isang function. Next, To be specific, positive integer. So, yan. Medyo mahirap lang burahin ang aking whiteboard. Ewan ko bakit parang ang pangit ng ink. Mas maganda pa to. So, one-sixth of the time of the discussion ay naubos sa kakaburan ng whiteboard. Charot. Next. Ring, ring. Letter D or fourth example hindi siya equal kundi f of x is equal to 4 x raised to 1 half. So again, that is not a polynomial expression. Yung 4 x raised to 1 half. Kasi Ang exponent niya ay 1 half. So, that is not function. Letter E. F of x is equal to 3x raised to negative 4 plus 5x squared plus x minus 1. So, makakapapansin nyo, sa letter E, wala kayo nakitang fraction bar. Sa rational, uh, rational functions, so karaniwan, sabi ko nga, that is the same with uh, fraction in elementary. Pero dito, wala kayo nakikitang fraction bar. But, if you have negative exponent, you can make it positive by changing its position. Kung ang isang variable or kung ang isang constant ay may negative exponent, pwede at nasa numerator siya, pwede nyo siyang gawing positive sa pamamagitan ng pagdadala sa denominator. So yung x natin may exponent na negative 4. So pwede siyang maging positive kung ilalagay natin siya sa denominator. Since wala namang parenthesis, Ibig sabihin, hindi kasama si 3 na nire-raise sa negative 4. So, si 3 may iiwan sa numerator at si x lang ang mapupunta sa baba. So, yung negative 4 magiging positive 4 na. Kung ang negative ay nasa denominator, pwede siyang maging positive kung ilalagay sa numerator. So, that is how to cancel negative exponent. So, we just copy plus 5x squared plus x minus 1. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 terms. But still, that is an example of function.
function function so pwede natin siyang i this uh, represent a single term so ang denominator ay x raised to 4 so 3 plus 5 x raised to 6 plus x raised to 5 minus x raised to 4 so this is an example of rational function because uh, it is expressed as the quotient of two polynomials so that is how to identify rational functions so next topic next video i will discuss how to compute rational equations so for now so that is how to identify rational functions and the definition of rational function